I am currently on a mission to build the GameCube collection of my childhood dreams. And this week, folks, my game hunting adventures are taking me all the way to California, where I'm going to be hanging out with none other than Retro Rick and Editor Rick. <laughs> so I'm going to California to meet these guys and buy GameCube games, but here's the catch. According to the rules of this challenge, I can only buy GameCube games with A, expected profit from items I find to flip, or B, by selling or trading items that I currently have in the collection. So because I'm flying there and I won't have much time to find stuff to flip, I've gotta come prepared with stuff to sell. And you know what, this is actually perfect. I've been sitting on this guy for like a year, have no emotional attachment to it, but it's worth like 700 bucks. Because here's the thing, folks, remember, I have this 75 game list of GameCube games that I really want in the collection. And at this point, we're literally only 18 games away. And a lot of the titles that are left on this list, like uh, Ribbit King and Chibi Robo and Pokemon Box and Go Go Hyper Grind are really expensive titles. So I want to have a great budget in case we're able to find them in California. California? Here's another booster box that's worth like 400 I was trying to trade on Facebook. I'll see how you doing. Uh, Whatever. Want to say hi to the people? No, YouTube's stupid. I am really excited for this trip. I mean, for goodness sake, I've only ever seen, this will be my second time seeing Editor Riff in person. And I mean, Retro Rick will also be there, I guess. Yippee! Oh, come on, I'm just joshing, folks. You know I love Rick. What would you say? I, I honestly think this bag is pretty much ready for American Airlines. And folks, finally, at long last, we are here at Retro Games Plus in Huntington Beach, California. But it's not just me. It's also good old Editor Riff and also a bonus Hot Wheel Ricky. Folks, There's going to be We're about to go find some excellent GameCube games because we've gotten a little hot tip ahead of time that there's some good GameCube stock in this yeah. store and he's willing to buy some of the collection items that I brought. This is like your local haunt. There, he has some wild stuff that we'll have to see too. Yeah, wild. how surreal is it folks to see us on camera here at the same time, like in the same frame? <laughs> it feels good, man. The sun is out, the sky is blue, it's beautiful and so are you. I couldn't I couldn't be happier, let's, let's get in here. Okay. All right, folks, so we're making our way back here to the GameCube section, the glass cases. And Chris is just gonna open them up for us and we're gonna go through and see if there's if there's stuff that we need for the Gambit. And that will let us know a little bit. I've got a ton of trade-in stuff in my backpack. It'll let us know a little bit how much exactly we need in credit to get the stuff that we need. All right, so Riff. Yes, sir. You know, yes. in the series at this point, what do you think I might need from this case? What's catching your eye? I feel like you're gonna need this back here. WarioWare. That actually uh, is definitely true. Is this one you need? Okay, I like it. Is yeah, the manual in there? Ready for the reveal? What do you think? Is the manual in there? I think yes. I think it looks heavy. Hey, that's what we like to see, folks. It's so that's one already from our list yeah, that we can it. just we can just put in the pile. Yes. We've got Melee already. So it's kind of an eclectic mix of consoles up here. Pikachu's Winter Vacation on VHS. That's crazy. No, that's Pikachu's Winter Vacation. Oh, yeah. I, Not crazy. I was confused. Nice. Oh, oh what are you spotting? <laughs> oh, this one, right here. Oh, how did you spot that? You know, I got the eye of the tiger. That, whoa, Zoid's Battle Legends. This is another one, folks. It's on the list. Okay, what's your guess this time? Is this complete? So, so my guess is it's gonna actually have the Smash Bros. Melee manual in there. Wow, that's bold. Yeah, that's bold. Never have I heard a guess that bold. Here we go. No! Oh! But that's okay because for the standards of the collection, I'm looking for stuff that at least has the case. So folks, this is kind of uncommon for the GameCube game, but we've already got two games that we know we need on our list that are just going into the pile and we were just noting. This is just such a nice looking case on this one. Yeah. Copy is yeah. truly mint. Yeah, okay, we got a, a picture of you on the back of this VHS uh, tape. Frame. Hey, he finds us, man. That's our spirit animal. <laughs> I like money. You guys remember who got me this very hat? This man right here. We're almost matching. Best Christmas gift ever. <laughs> this is like the miscellaneous GameCube section. I'm gonna try to see, is there anything over here that we need as well? <gasps> yes, I found one. Let's 
go. I saw the Lord of the Rings. I actually, the first time I was like sort of making my way through this, getting B-roll and stuff, I glazed over that because it looks so similar to Return of the King, which we already have. We don't have Third Age. This is our third list game already, folks. This is this is shaping up to be an excellent stop. We may have to definitely dig into the backpack to see uh, what kind of trade credit we can get. Ricky, what's catching your game hunting eye over here? I always love big box stuff. And yeah. 360 big box stuff, I love. Yeah, is that, I mean, it's not super common. I, like, I feel like I don't see, like you're looking at these shelves. We've got Call yeah. of Duty and Soul, Soul Calibur. Caliber. Pick up Xbox stuff while it's cheap, folks, definitely. It's like a really weird, I think rare uh, version of Link's Awakening. Oh wow. PC Blue Box, yeah. That's a special edition. It really is. For a special guy. That's one, that one goes for a bit, that NCAA basketball 10. I'm also, my mind, even though I don't need to, I'm still like a little bit looking for stuff that could be flipped on Amazon because I just, Cause I can't help bro. it. I'm an addict. You're Mr. Krabs. You're, and also, you're sick. I mean, theoretically, some of that, if I did find something, we could theoretically use that money. I would just have to get it back in my carry-on, which is, or not my carry-on, but my check bag. All right, so I did actually find one that we're gonna use for the budget. 97 on NCAA 14, it is nice and complete and looks like lowest very good copy is 150. So that'll be like a, like a 30 or so profit after fees. All right, so plopped myself down in the PSP section as I do found four different titles because they are, check this out, buy three, get one free. So I found the most expensive one, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, Ape Escape on the Loose for 14, Ben 10, as well as Twisted Metal. And I think after fees, because of the discount, I should be able to make around $40 profit on this little stack. Okay, folks, this, is an insane story. So I actually got this vintage shirt in like a whole lot of vintage shirts at a video game convention. Long story short, auctioned it on whatnot. It ended up going to Riff's friend Gabo, who then gave it to Riff. Where are you, Riff? Hi. Gave it to this guy who ended up trading it into this store. And now here it is. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could I could purchase it again and start the cycle start all the over. Cycle all over. <laughs> this is a circle of life right here, folks. This is this is how it works. All right, folks. So we've got now three GameCube games picked out for the list, as well as $70 profit. But Chris, the owner, actually brought some bins behind the counter from home that aren't even, they're not priced, they're not for sale, just to look at and see if maybe there's anything else in there that we may, that we may need. I think, from what I understand, there's some pretty like high dollar, like personal collection gems in. There is, yeah, this is like personal stuff over the years from, I have four stores, so yeah. just kind of like little gems I've tucked away. I. Sometimes I don't even know what's in there, to be honest, it's been so many years. <laughs> so if nothing else, if nothing else, Riff, Snickers, Money talks, nice. I'll get them to sell anything. Whatever you want there, Caleb, <laughs> five bucks. If you do, you're banned. Wow, folks, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bins of just, I mean, this is insane. Look at that, wow. Seal banjo tui on this. That's just that's just sitting on top here. Like no no plastic protector or anything. This is just it's casual. And then a lot of this like older, more obscure system stuff. Turbo graphics. Honestly, I don't even know the value of this. Like you just never find it. Ten million. What's sticking out to you, man? <laughs> Honestly, everything. Because but he has a lot of test cartridge type of stuff in here. Beast Wars is that a big banger. Up. Also, uh huh. Die Die Katana. Die Katana. Nice. Ooh, Bomberman two on the. Super. Here's a Ooh, sealed, banger. sealed GameCube games. Like I said though, deal still stands, five bucks, whatever you want, it's between five me and you, bro. We're how, about, how about four? <laughs> Smash Bros. Melee, my Those favorite like GameCube it's game sealed. of all time. Mega Man V. Five. It's, I know it's five. Come <laughs> on, wow. come on. Dude, Mega Man V, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> Sealed, bro. Sealed punch out. Holy cow. That's, Scam of the century? I think, it, I think that's one of the more That's what I call games. Caleb's channel. All right, all right. He, the, the hater hanks are gearing up. They're warming up their fingers. Ghoul Patrol, Demon's Crest, a Game Boy test cartridge. Another Any test. idea what the value is on this? I really don't, no. Anytime that stuff came in, I like just Yeah, I'm sure you, it's not something uh -oh. you... Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Wow, folks. That is like, th this is probably top five most expensive and uncommon games on the GameCube right here. Go, go, hyper grind. It is on our list. Is this something that you would be able to sell? I mean, I 
typically don't sell uh -huh. a lot of this stuff, but yeah. that one, I, I probably would part with that one. This is one of those games that I was honestly worried about not being able to find, like, organically. You know, I like, I don't, for this challenge, I can't buy anything online. I can't go on eBay and say, okay, you know, click, press bid, whatever. So to find this, like, out in the wild at a game store And for just, five bucks. That's five what a deal. crazy. <laughs> Dude, that but yeah, we'll, we'll put this aside. Yeah. We'll add it to the tally and then we'll start going through my stuff that I brought and see what kind of what kind of trade-in kind of deal we can work. All right, editor Riff, what are you finding? Oh, he's just he's just so handling some sealed spice, some bro. sealed red. Oh my god. All these are sealed right here, but I saw another one a minute ago that I wanted to point out because yeah. it's a wild one. So okay. well, besides little Samson right here. Ooh. Yeah, just Hello. Just yeah, you know, no big deal. Wait a second. Yes, sir. Oh, I thought it was sealed. It's, it's, but it's uh, it's ripped at the top. I was oh going to be like, what in the world? Two of those. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Who says, "Oh, I do have two little Samsons." I didn't even know. <laughs> they I just know, pop I up. I, had to cut I should have stole one. <laughs> but, so I saw this in here, and this is Magical Chase on the Turbo Graphics Graphic 16, a beautiful cute uh -huh. up. But the thing about it is you don't see them. And I went and looked it up on eBay earlier when, when, when I kind of peeked at it. I was like, wait a second, this game right now is only one on eBay for $48,000. Which is his listing. Wow, no, we'll pop it up. We'll pop it up right here. Yeah. It's actually it's kind of surreal that like I'm saying, okay, we're gonna pop this up in the edit, and you're here, yeah. and you're gonna be doing the edit. This is nice for me. I can like know what's going ahead, yeah. so I just go in and edit. You know, I like what's really cool is the flames coming out of my mouth right now. Ah. Oh, now you just created my work, but that's okay. You're gonna pay me well, ten hey, more bucks for that edit. Why is your face green? Oh, hey, why, look, why at, is your look, at, look at that dog over there. Why is your channel deleted? <laughs> Where'd Phoenix Riso go? <laughs> why is the rest? the video not edited. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, yeah. best game in there right now. Chris is giving you four seconds to pick out one game and you gotta keep it. Arrow Fighter. What is that? Is that Sonic the Squirrel? That's F Zero. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, what is what is our total? I'll start getting out my stuff that I have for trade, and we can kind of figure out exactly how much of this stuff. Because I was not expecting a who knows how many dollar game to be a part of this deal. So actually, the only thing that I really need trade in for this other stuff, I can just buy in cash. But whatever this ends up to be total, that's how much trade in I'll need to give you. And here is probably the biggest item. But yeah, seal. <laughs> Evolution's box. Ooh. So that's probably the biggest, the okay. biggest dollar I'm item. Called. <laughs> <laughs> How roaring is it, Caleb? I say probably a six or seven. I, I didn't, I did not realize these went for that much. Yeah. Okay. So what are you finding on the on the price for it? Yeah, probably like selling like seven ish. I okay. Guess. Got around where you where you were thinking seven. Yeah, that was that was kind of what I. There, last time I checked, it's been a little bit. Yeah. So you're seeing on these without manual, 350, 400 ish Around range there, probably. Yeah. So, what range would we be in? I think this combined is in the like 190 range. And then this would be, what would you want on that? Four? Probably. 400. So, we'd be close to six total. If in whatever you we can add it up, and I'll take a little bit off of everything. Okay, yeah, sure. So in in the around. 600, 550 to 6 range, maybe. It might be close to the value of this then, huh? Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to keep it simple, we could... That might be... That that might make the most sense. Okay. Something like that for this. Well, let's run that. So get, so get me a number on what you'd be happy with, like, after the 10 to 15% on okay. that. Yep. And then we can add everything up and see if there's any difference or what it ends up being. Okay. Appreciate that. Thank, I, I appreciate yeah. you so much no for problem. working with me on this. This just makes me so excited. I can't even even tell you. All right, folks, so we finally came to a deal. Well, we had we came to a deal, but we calculated everything and it's almost a completely even trade for the games to this Evolutions box right here. So I only owe 40 bucks on my end for some of the stuff that I bought to flip and everything else is coming home with me just in trade. So I appreciate that so yeah, much, no Chris, problem, for having us that out. That was awesome. Yeah, this, is, this has been amazing. No and I appreciate it. If I'm ever in California again, we'll definitely be, we'll definitely be back by. Awesome. Sounds good, man. Nice to meet you. And I appreciate the box. Love it. A customer just came in and, and uh, asked if you guys had uh, Go Go Hyper Grind. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you have another wait. one in the back there, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> We've done it, folks. Okay. That's a little low. 
I've gotta be honest, folks. The reason that it is so low and that I'm having to use my standing desk like this is that I don't know where my tripod is. I'm a terrible YouTuber, but I am not a terrible GameCube hunter as it turns out, folks. Look at this amazing haul. Four games from the list, Zoids, Battle Legends, Lord of the Rings, WarioWare, and what you guys don't realize is that this copy of GoGo Go Hypergrind is actually complete. I was able to buy a condition upgrade while I was out at the expo over the weekend. We have a complete GoGo Go Hypergrind for the collection. And folks, I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say anything, but let's face it. I have to say something. Look at this sick Goof Troop shirt that I got. Uh, I, I paid up. I paid 80 bucks for this thing. I don't think I've ever paid $80 for a t-shirt before, but look at the back. Can you see that? Can you see the back? Walt Disney Animation, baby. This is an XL too. These, these vintage XLs, I don't know what they were thinking. And anyways, in a twist of fate, a first for the GameCube Gambit, I actually sold the original copy of GoGo Hypergrind that I bought without the manual back to Chris from Retro Games Plus because you guys saw he was so conflicted about selling it to me in the first place. So it ended up being a win, win, win. We had a fantastic time at his game store. He got to keep his game. I got to make my video. And most importantly, we have an excellent copy copy of Go Go Hypergrind. Let's get these onto the shelf. Just like that, folks, we only have 14 games left before the Gambit is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, Elsie and I will catch you guys on the flip. Uh, whatever.